What is up, guys? It is Power Bang bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video. We are jumping right into the action today. As you can see from the title, I'm, I'm pushing to Legends, guys. So I'm going to show you the army that I'm doing that. We'll do a live attack here really quick. Let me do the six-second scout on this base, because why not? Let's start, over, uh, let's start over here, and I will show you guys exactly what I am doing in order to make this thing happen. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't know the Grand Warden could one-shot... Holy cow! This is uh, this is looking actually kind of uh, bad for the queen. She's gonna walk the wrong direction. Threw my timing off there on that walk, but that's okay. We got the warden targeted early. No big deal. We're just gonna send in some uh, wall breakers here. Open this bad boy up, and then we are also going to send in five wall breakers here because that's not where I wanted them to go. But that's okay. That's okay, guys. We are breaking off a little bit of action right now. Go to the other side. Come on, queen. You can do it. So here's what I want to do, guys. I'm going to send in... Crap. Why did the queen have to go in there? Dude, 108 Chocolate Rain. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's amazing. So we have the queen getting all uh, healed up. So we're going to send in... There we go. We're going to send in the bowlers. Going to go through the wall. We're just going to have to beat through it. We've got a little CC coming in now. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and rage up the outside here to get those down the wall. Queen's going to take on... Oh, come on, healers. Come on, healers. You can do it. There we go. We switched targets. Got those bowlers going now. They're pushing their way around. So, guys, this is the strategy I'm using to push, essentially. Um, so far, so good. You can see uh, it's going well, actually. I'm going to start working around the outside of this base. And let's get these bowlers going, guys. Let's push through the next part here. So far, so good. We've lost our healers, but that's okay. That is okay. That is okay, I think. So we'll go here. We still have our queen ability. Unfortunately, she's standing in the Inferno Tower range. I'm going to drop the free spell there. And uh, we are going to get locked on here. So we're not going to get the three star, I don't think, because it's just too much... Uh, just too much, man. So we're going to pop the ability. And, of course, she walks into the double cannon range. Ugh. Brutal, dude. Brutal. So we have literally nothing on us right now as far as the, uh, the queen is concerned. Come on. Let's get this wizard tower down. Can we do it? No, we can't. So close to the three, guys. And we're going to end up getting a high percentage one star, I think. We'll see if the bowlers stop here out of range. No, of course they're going to walk all the way down rather than to the top because that's crazy. Hey, look at that, though. Look at that. They are going to pick up the two-star. I am I am comfortable with that. No big deal. We did get all of the loot in this. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Only five cups, but you know, it wasn't a huge offer. But wanted to show you guys kind of what I was doing. Uh, unfortunately, the healers stopped, did a transfer, and then stopped on a single witch on the near side of the town hall. So that was a little bit unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. So that being said, guys, let's get into today's episode. I'll show you guys some cool new stuff that's in the game. I'll give you my thoughts, and uh, let's talk some more about this army. All right, guys, so we are back. The uh, The story of the day is right there. That is exactly what we're taking a look at. This is the biggest news in Clash of Clans. Power Bang got his cake into the game. Look at that. The fifth anniversary cake is here. Now, I feel like they're taking some shots at me here. I feel like they've seen the memes on Twitter. I feel like they've seen... I've, I, they've seen the, the scuttlebutt in the in the Clash locker room, so to speak, about Power Bang and his cake. Now, for those of you that don't understand the backstory there, they've been bringing cake out for me at every single live stream since they've been having me out there probably a year now um, of live streams. I've been out to Europe probably 10 or 11 times and cake at all of them. So, cake in the game now that's definitely going to stay on my base. What else is new? Check this out. Fifth anniversary for Clash of Clans. They've already given us a one gem boost. Thank you to Supercell for that. Unfortunately, you guys caught me with a max storages and full builders. So, eh, you know, the, the boost really didn't do a whole lot for me. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? We'll boost it again. Why the heck not? So we, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's switch those back. And we are going to boost all 
There we go. So we'll boost all of them. We got our gold boosted. We are completely maxed on everything, even over max because they had some offers as well. I got suckered into it. But you know what, guys? Let's go ahead, take a look at this new battle ram. Gunjan, thank you for that new sub, man. Welcome to the channel, guys. Uh, as always, I'm, I, I definitely love the support, but you know I'm going to start calling out you guys when you sub while I'm recording. So Gunjan, thank you for that sub. Uh, we also had uh, in previous <laughs> iterations of this episode where I didn't have uh, you know clouds. Jim Ch Jim Chen has subscribed as well as 108 Chocolate Rain. So thank you guys, really appreciate it. That being said, all right, it's time. It's time. There it is. We have 48 battle rams cooked, and let's go see these bad boys uh, how they are. So first off, we have look at these guys. These little pencils, man. It's like Clash Royale is infiltrating the game. Um, but, I mean, the, the Barbarians were Clash of Clans first, so I, I don't have a huge problem with this. It's, it's interesting for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look in the research lab. Can you upgrade these? No, you can't. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, let's go look at the barracks here and see what their stats are. Damage is low. Damage is very, very low. Now, favorite target is any... That's actually wrong, because their favorite target are defenses. They target defenses, they spawn four barbarians, which is a lot of barbs, and it looks like their DPS is only 10. So for a Town Hall 11, I don't I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to do for us. But hey, uh, thanks, I guess, it's cool. Let's go to a mid-level, let's go to like Arrowhead. This is a mid-level goblin map, guys. Mid-level goblin map. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's watch these. Uh, let's watch these. Yeah, here we go. Let's just watch. So here they come in. Everything's kind of getting destroyed. Let's look at these little mortars here and see if they're able to stop what's going on. Like what in the crap is happening? These these barbarians are getting chewed through so quickly, uh, but it does look like they're going to make their way through. Uh, the base so pretty cool little animations actually but these barbs like why why are they level one why can't I have a barbarian that's equal to the level of barbarian that I already cooked come on man this is a low level goblin map base and we barely beat it so that kind of makes me think let's let's see how high we can go with no spells just the uh, just the, just whatever these things are called is it the barbarian party or is it battle ram I don't even know Go train troops, and it is the battle ram. Okay, cool. So let's get 48 of these guys cooked up, and let's go watch what, what, what they're going to do. And then we'll hop into like some of the pushing that I'm doing right now with that army I just showed you guys, and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of talk about that a little bit. So let's go to, I don't know, Goblin Picnic, because everybody likes a cake, right? So, okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and just drop in all kinds of rams everywhere so here they go they're running in uh, a couple of them get flung here and it looks like they are working their way through all is well so far but we are having problems on this other side man those rams just wreck stuff when they hit considering they're like low level but it's still pretty uh oh look at these little bombs look at these little bombs dude holy cow those got those wreck the barbs man those wreck the barbs holy crap they're gonna defend guys they are going to defend. So there it is. Everything is dead. We can't beat the Goblin Picnic by spamming in 48 Battle Rams. Um, I'm going to pass on using these as part of my real army on my push to Legends because I don't feel like that's going to suit my uh, purpose of going up in trophies. So that being said, let's go look at some of the attacks that we've got going on. Uh, we'll just start at the bottom here and kind of take a look at uh, some of the bases that we have. Here's a Town Hall 11. And again, what we're doing... First off, let me stop. Five healers, and uh, we've obviously got the heroes here. The Grand Warden is set to ground mode. We've got a baby dragon on the funnel here. Other than that, everything in the army camps. You can see 16 bowlers, three witches, and a couple of wizards and eight wall breakers. Now, some of those wall breakers are intended for the queen to go into the base. Um, when you approach an Inferno Tower or even the Eagle if necessary, you can use that Grand Warden ability and the queen ability as an escape. And you got four rage spells, so it's, you know, you can basically walk for a long, long time. You can see I'm uh, trying to get inside the base right now. We've got the queen finally going in, 
and now I'm kind of backing it up with the king. On the outside, though, this is where you drop your witches and a few bowlers, and they, they just are designed to go down the side of the base, provide a little bit of distraction, and make it so that your troops on the inside are focused on the core and the inner parts of the base. So you can see the outside troops are working their way down, everything kind of focused on the witches. Um, and there it is, Grand Warden ability in the face of the Inferno Tower. I've saved my free spell, I've got Rage Spells working, these bowlers are just absolutely wrecking. And again, you see on the right side, around the outside go the Witches and a couple of bowlers. So, in the core now, we've got the Queen uh, firing at us, but she is now down, and it looks like we've just got all kinds of bowlers. Uh, the healers, of course, they always seem to go with a single troop. It's like, that's not helpful, guys. Stay with the, stick with the pack. Luckily, the pack comes back, the healers latch on, and we drop another rage spell here for the bowlers to go just wreck the Inferno Tower. Um, Queen still has her ability, but check out the rage, and all those rocks are just able to completely crush through this base. Bowlers pat smashing through the wall here, and that is that. So we just kind of uh, do our thing, open up the wall on the backside with some spare wall breakers, let those bowlers out pretty easily. And that is that. Queen uses the ability at the very end, didn't even really need it, but look at that loot, guys. Holy crap. That's uh, 1.4 million loot plus the 300 whatever K of each, 320. Um, so yeah, that's uh, 2 million loot right there. So thank you for that, um, whoever was defending. Let's go look at a couple more of those. Um, we have a lot of high percentage fails here and uh, some successful ones as well. So we'll look at the successful ones today. We've got another close to max base. Um, this one is a ring base. And again, on ring bases, what you're trying to do is break off part of the ring so you know which way your troops are going to travel and you can kind of uh, get that queen walk going here I tried to break off this wizard tower but unfortunately I'm just not smart uh, so I had to drop in another couple of bowlers but we got it so now we know that the queen is likely going to go to the inside of this base and uh, path the way we want her to. Now she starts to walk here and I was like damn it so I'm just going to drop in more wall breakers and then you know, get her in at some point here. So I drop in some more, and then she goes back, because, you know, why not? So she is in where we want her now, but now we're going to use the other hole for the witches. And again, this is where we're going to use witches and a few bowlers. And they are going to go down the side of the base. Now we send the king and the remainder of the bowlers um, to go with the queen. And they kind of keep her focused on the core. Now, they all go around together here. Now, a ring base is really not super scary, especially if the troops can stay out of the range of the Infernos for the most part. You can see the king use his ability and start just kind of mauling his way through the outer rings here. And as the, uh, the healers step their way into the rage spells, they heal up the bowlers and kind of keep everything going. Uh, you see on the other side, we've got a CC lure. So I dropped the poison to kind of slow things up. And remember, you've got a free spell in this composition as well to kind of make sure that that Inferno, you get a break when needed uh, to get your queen out of danger. So with the rage spell, she's able to you know power through no problem. Last uh, air defense goes down. So we know the healer should be pretty good uh, to withstand the rest of this raid. So we'll kind of fast forward through the rest of this. Bowlers doing their thing, kind of pushing their way through. Not a bad... Uh, not a bad little strategy, guys. We use the king ability to get through the wall and a whole bunch of bowlers. Um, that's that, though. We use the queen ability, and she takes out the final inferno, and that's that. 100%! Got some more loot on this one, guys. No dark in this one, but luckily I don't need any dark. We got a million resources plus the bonus. Not bad. Let's go ahead and look at one more. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at Luke Skywalker. So, again, in this one, a little bit more premature on the base. Not quite maxed, but, hey, you can't pick what you're finding in the, in the farming uh, realm, but we do have single target infernos and anytime you see single target infernos You should be just like thank God uh, Because it, it really is super easy to overwhelm that and you want to make sure that you're Joining up the Queen with the the whole army before you get into inferno range uh, Typically you can use the warden ability to kind of buy the Queen a break like if you do happen to get targeted However, you want to make sure that you're you're really getting in there uh, with the whole army so that those single targets are distracted. And as you can see, we're trying to open up the wall right now to get into the core of this base, which is going well. We need a rage spell to keep the queen alive. Boom, there's the wall. It is open. 
and now the queen can go in. So the eagle is down. That was one of the big things coming from that angle, was we wanted to take the eagle out of play, and now you can see we've broken the defensive ring here, and the queen heads off to uh, kind of the left here. She's going to get the king on her here in just a minute, so you're going to see another rage bell come down because we do have the sweeper on us. There it is. And now we've got that group of witches and bowlers kind of going around the other side. Make sure in your clan castle you're getting a giant to fill the... Uh, Fill that final space. You can see how it's tanking the cannon. It's buying time for the bowlers and witches to go around the wall. By the time the giant goes down, the cannon is firing at skellies. So, very cheap way to pick all that off. Now the king and the bowlers are going in. And you're going to see the rage spell. And again, notice how the single target inferno is targeting bowlers instead of like anything important like my queen. The queen, I'm going to pop her ability here just a moment. Clear out what I can. And again, single target inferno is locked onto bowlers. So... They don't really get any value from the Inferno Towers. Why anybody in 2017 has their single target Infernos up, I have no idea. Guys, on defense, put your Infernos on multi, both of them, 100% of the time against any army. You want multi Infernos, I promise you. So, anyways, we work our way through the base. A whole ton of bowlers. You can see that group that we dropped from the very beginning with the Witches and Bowlers have made their way all the way down the side, and uh, they are going to get the, the buildings taken out. Simply too many uh, witch skeletons there to uh, overcome. So the defense is overwhelmed. We've gotten it done. Not bad at all. Another three star for the power bang. And we are on our way to 5,000 trophies, guys. I may live stream some of this. Let me know if you're interested in watching. Um, we are, where are we at right now? 4,848. So we are 152 trophies away from snagging that purple badge that is so sought after. Never never done it, though, guys. Never done it. I um, got hit last night. Let's see, 4,858. So 10 trophies higher than this is my, my PR, which I got hit for like 15 last night. Um, so I'm as high as I've ever been, man. I'm excited to go get that badge. I don't know how much further I'll push. We'll have to wait and see. So anyways, guys, that is all I have for this episode. I do want to give a special shout out for my subscriber of the day, Drew Hamilton. Thank you so much for your support of Banger Nation, dude. Welcome to the fam, and also, uh, I'm glad you're here, man. Hopefully you enjoy the content, and welcome to all of the new subscribers that have subscribed over the past 24 hours. Really appreciate your guys' continued support of the channel. Feel free to share my videos if you like it. Definitely uh, drop that sub, join the fam. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Power Bang. I'm signing out. Till next time, guys. Peace out. <laughs> we